Good morning, friends. We are in Holy Week, and uh, the theme of our devotions is counting down to Calvary. Uh, this is a very special week for Christians. It culminates in Good Friday and through to Easter Sunday. It's a holy week, and uh, I want to reflect on these last hours that Jesus spent with his disciples before uh, he was so cruelly arrested and taken away and beaten to a pulp, compelled to carry his own cross, and finally he was crucified on Golgotha. Uh, something I find uh, fascinating as a minister is when there is a bereavement uh, in a family and one has the privilege of sitting and talking to the family, how they remember the detail. I mean, even weeks after the death of a loved one, the final moments or the final hours are remembered with considerable detail. And uh, interestingly, in the Bible, the same applies to Jesus. They remembered to the words that he said, that he spoke. You may remember how when Jesus was in the upper room with his disciples on the very night in which he was betrayed, um, at a point he rose from the table and he took off his garments and, uh, and then he wrapped a towel around himself and he filled a basin with water and then he began to wash his disciples' feet. It's one of the moving scenes in the Bible. Uh, the disciples were taken aback. Peter didn't want Jesus to touch his feet. I guess he was embarrassed. I would have been embarrassed. But Jesus insisted, Peter, I've got to do this for you. Um, and, and he moves from, from disciple, disciple. Imagine Jesus having to wash the feet of Judas, knowing that this man whose feet you are, are preparing and washing is going to go out shortly and betray you. Uh, and it was a surprise thing. They didn't fully understand its significance. But after a while, Jesus, having done all that, uh, got up again. Uh, he put on his robes and he sat down. And he said, do you understand what I've done? If I, your teacher and your Lord, have done this for you, then you also ought to do the same to one another and to others. I have left you an example that you should follow. Now, if we could get that right, if we could take those words of Jesus to heart and apply them day by day. In other words, learning the meaning of humble Christian service, being the kind of Christian men and women who prepare to get our hands dirty for the sake of Christ, that no task is too menial. We are never so important as to be unwilling to draw alongside folk in, in their need. I, I always remember the words of Mother Teresa of Calcutta. You cannot have the bread and wine of Christian communion without the basin and the towel of Christian service. A thought for the day. God be with you.